Hi everyone. We're going to write every, uh, each equation in standard form. I have four of them. Determine whether the graph of the equation is a parabola, a circle, an ellipse, or hyperbola. And I even did a sketch of the graphs as well. So uh, this one, what we want to do is uh, complete the square. And I'm going to group, my x is already kind of grouped together. I put my uh, boxes here. And so I'm going to add two more boxes here. So this goes together. And complete the square. Half of two is one. Square it, you get one. Half of four, uh, half of eight is four. Square it, you get 16. And so you put that here. And this whole side's going to equal 25. And then you uh, just write this. Uh, together. So you have uh, x minus 1 squared plus y plus half of uh, 8 is 4 squared equals 25. So this is a circle. We have a center at 1 common negative 4 and our radius is 5. This follows the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So, um, let's put it right here. You have um, x minus 1 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 25. So here's your center. My radius is 5. I go up 5. Um, each way. This is how I do it. And then I try to draw a circle. So this is where your radius here is, should be 5. Okay? And your center was what? A 1 common negative 4. Very simple. Alright, the next one. Um, I can tell right away that this is going to be a parabola. Because a parabola only... Uh, uh, either you can have an x squared or a y squared. You don't have both. So in this case, my x is squared, and I'm going to uh, move this 8 over here. I'm going to get y plus 8, and I'm going to go ahead and put my boxes equal x squared minus 2x plus my square box. I complete the square, half of 2 is 1, square it, and you get 1. Put it on both sides, so we get y plus 9 equals x minus half of 2 is 1, square it. Now, they usually write this reverse, so I'm just going to move this around. And we have all kinds of information here. Um... Basically, my vertex, uh, parabolas don't have a center, is 1 common negative 9. It has all this uh, focus and things like that, but I just sketched a graph over here. And it opens up, because this is um, the Y part. And I just kind of sketched it, just so you could see it. All right, the next one is uh, actually simpler. We don't have to complete the square. What I'm going to do is divide everything by 36. So I get x plus 4 um, squared over 4 equals y minus 1, not equals, it's plus, plus y minus 1 squared over 9 equals 1. Uh, clearly, it's an ellipse. It has a plus here, and you know that. We do have a center for an ellipse. So our center is um, negative 4, comma 1. And I wrote it on this side, and I like to graph looking at it this way. So my center is a negative 4, comma 1. And you should already know about ellipses and stuff. I take the 
for the x, I take the square root of that and it's 2. So from here I move over 2. All right? And the y, the square root of uh, 9 is 3, so I'm going up 3, down 3, and it's that. Of course, you should know how to get the focus and everything. I did that in another video. The last one we have is here. So I'm going to move the, um, I'm going to move everything um, over. I don't know. I'm going to move everything over on to the left real quick. So I moved everything over, over except the 7. And by doing that, this was positive, so I made it negative, negative, and I just changed the signs. Now I'm going to complete the square. Don't forget you have to change the sign when you do this, because that's like negative 1. And then you're going to have to add this box here, but here you're going to subtract this box. Alright, so half of 2 is 1, square it 1, that goes in that one. And this one, half of 4 is 2 squared, and you get 4. All right? So when you add all this up, we get 8 minus 4, and you get 4. So I'm going to put this together. x minus 1 squared minus y minus 2 squared equals 4. It's definitely not a circle, so because uh, a circle would have a plus there. Divide everything by 4, and I get x minus 1 squared minus y minus 2 squared equals 1. So, oh, over, whoops, over 4. So I wrote it over here, and I, uh, it's going to graph it in front of you. So I know on this I'm going to go up. I take the square root of 4, I get plus or minus 2, so you go up 2, down 2. On the y, well, that's the y. On the x, you do the same thing, because it's 4. All right? And remember, on here, we draw a little box here. The slope is basically 1, because 2 over 2, going up 2 over 2 is 1. I draw my line my uh, asymptotes. I know that x starts it, so it's going to open left and right. So it goes this way and that way. Let me do a different color. This way opens to, uh, to the right and to the left. Okay, that's all. The next video I'm going to do is just write a bunch of equations and um, look at the equations without uh, completing the square or anything and determining just by looking at them if it's a circle, ellipse, hyperbola, or a parabola. Thank you and have a nice day.